This is uh, K6YOA and I'm just doing a quick test here to show the VSWR instability with the KX3. As you can see we have a KX3 connected to a um, SWR meter which then feeds into a 50 ohm load. Um, in this mode obviously we should see that the transmitter is perfectly matched to the dummy load. To show that we will transmit in FM mode. You can see here that we're transmitting uh, full power um, and if I look at the reflected power it drops down to zero which is what we'd expect so we've got a good match with the equipment. <laughs> We will ensure that the KX3 is matched to the load by pressing the ATU tune. And unsurprisingly here you briefly saw it reported 1.1 to 1 showing an excellent match. If I start my test by transmitting in FM mode, you can see that we're transmitting full power and that the SWR reading is close to one, which is exactly what we would expect. If we go over to our power meter, we show the full forward power that we were expecting around 10 watts, and we show zero reflected power again, showing a perfect match. However, if I now go to SSB mode and start to transmit, one two one two one two three four one two one two one two three four one two one two one two three four you can now see the SWR instability you can see the spiking there of the SWR reading if I go over to my uh, power meter you can see that I've got Peak power fluctuations as expected. And you can see I've got no reverse power fluctuations. So obviously while the KX3 is showing some SWR instability, this is not being shown on the inline SWR meter. I'm now going to go back quickly to FM. and transmit and again when I do this you can see that the SWR readings are stable again. I'm going to go back, uh, first of all come out of transmit, I'm going to go back to USB, 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 hello hello 1 2 1 2 and now you can see the SWR instability. If you look at this very closely, it's interesting. If I talk quickly, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, you'll see when there's no basic breaks in the, SW, in the transmission, the SWR remains um, at one. However, when I pause and consequently the transmit power falls, that's when the SWR appears to spike. One, one, one. If we slow this down, you'll actually see this happen in slow motion.